Hey everyone, Jason here. Welcome to my Knot channel. In this video, I'm going to show a great way to tie up a sleeping bag, bedroll, or tarp using only a couple basic knots. This video is the second part of a two-part series and I recommend you check out the first part called How to Tie the Canadian Jam Knot. I'm putting a link in the description so you can find that video easily. But if you're starting here, you should still be able to see how to tie this cool knot system. Now let's have a look at a way to tie a bedroll that will make your camping buddies think you're a knot tying genius. To begin, we're going to tie a Canadian jam knot to one end of the bedroll. When tying the Canadian jam knot, you can use a simple overhand knot as the stopper, but for this application, I like a slightly more bulky stopper, so I'm using a heaving line knot to create a small little toggle. The larger stopper will make the bedroll knot system look better, and I think it's a bit easier to use too. With the stopper knot tied, the next step is to tie another overhand knot as shown here. From there, pass your tail end, that is, the other end of your working line, through the overhand knot so that the tail is running in the same direction as with the stopper. The most important part of tying an effective Canadian jam knot is to make sure the stopper knot and the tail end are running in the same direction through the overhand knot, because when the overhand knot is tightened, the stopper knot will snug down against the overhand and create a binding action. It's easy to test your Canadian jam knot when it's finished. You can test it by pulling against the cord. It should tighten against the load. In this case, the load is the bedroll. The knot will stay cinched until you pull it loose by pulling on the stopper knot. With the Canadian jam knot tied to one end of the bedroll, the next step is to tie another jam knot to the other side, as shown here. With both sides of the bedroll tied with two Canadian jam knots, we could leave it like this and the bedroll would be securely rolled up, but let's take it one step further. Take your tail ends and run them across the bedroll as shown. This will give you a rough measurement for the next step. From here, cut the ends of your paracord so the length is just a little longer than the length of your bedroll. Now with your lighter, melt the ends of the paracord so the ends won't fray. Now we're going to tie a double sliding knot in the middle of our knot system using a fisherman's knot. If you want to have a closer look at the fisherman's knot, I also have a video how to tie a fisherman's knot and a double fisherman's knot. I'm putting a link to that video in the description as well. And it'll also be at the end of this video. We now have our two pieces of paracord with the ends running in opposite directions. Start by passing one end around the other and crossing it as shown. From there, take the working end and pass it under both standing parts and then through the center and then cinch it up relatively snug but not too tight yet. Next, we'll do the same on the other side. With your working end, come around and back to create a loop. Then continue around both standing parts and then through the center as shown. Again, cinch up the knot. Once again, I could be finished here, but I'm going to tidy it up by evening out my fisherman's knots. I'll loosen the knot on the one side a little and just adjust it so it sits at near the same distance from the center as the one on the other side.
Now that I'm done, I'm going to clean it up a bit more by adjusting the length of the tag ends from each knot. I want to keep a little bit of a tail so the knots don't slip, but I don't want them too long. Now using my scissors again, I can cut them to a length that I like, and then using my lighter, I'm able to melt the ends. One thing that's interesting about this knot system is that both of the knots used here are actually fishing knots. The Canadian jam knot is also called an arbor knot, and it's used to tie fishing line to the arbor of a fishing reel. And the fisherman's knot is used as a bend to join two fishing lines together. So there you have it, a cool way to tie a bedroll, sleeping bag or tarp, with a few basic knots. I hope you liked the video, and thanks for watching.